Okay, we're back to Mocha Beasts and we're going to build a 2D dictionary this time. So let's start by bringing in our classics, our classics, our classics, import OS and uh, time. And I'm going to create my dex, which is going to be a blank dictionary. Um, again, Mocha Dex, should we just call it that? There we go. Um, and I'm going to write my print function. row in mocadex dot for key value in mocadex dot items this is the same thing we've used before uh, print oh, hold on before we do that we need to extract it because value will be another dictionary for sub key sub value in value dot items. So this extracts that as well. Print. So look what I want to print out. I want to print out B. Right, let's start with, let's get the name. No, it's not going to need that. Let's just print this out to see where we go to start with. Let's start with that and we'll see where we go. We might need to expand upon that in a minute. Uh, let's do our while true. Let's ask the user for what they need. I'm going to do dot title for that because I'd like it in title case. Uh, type input type. Oh. And again, I'm going to do dot title for that one. It'll work the same as dot capitalize in this case. HP equals int input. Don't do anything to that one. MP equals int input. MP. That should work fine. I then need to add that to my dictionary. So I need to say Mocadex name equals type type uh, HP HP MP is the MP so that constructs the dictionary and then I'm going to print out well, I want a bunch of those maybe just another blank line and then pretty print so let's see what we get from the pretty print because I think I need to go in and extract that secondary key Pain toad, so water type, and minus three MP. Oh, it extracted it all quite well there. So what I can actually do is pull in the values and I can print. How did I want it? Let's have a look. Ah, so I wanted headings. Okay, so let's just do that first of all. Let's print out the heading. Mm. Now, if I want to do that, that's going to be quite awkward, isn't it? And if I can put literals in those, let's see if that works. This line might crash. I'm trying to be a bit sneaky with it here to stop myself having to set variables with the names of the keys. No, it doesn't like it. Okay. But we can go through and just pull out the keys initially, can't we? I suspect. Oh, let's just manually do it. Let's just do name, tab, type, tab. HP, tab, MP. I'm not going to worry too much about that being lined up. <coughs> well, I'm going to print out the key. That's the name. Uh, and I'm going to go colon, center align that in 10 spaces. Then value, and I can bring these up individually now. I can bring up the type. And actually what I might do is turn this into a, I'll turn this into a three quotes version because we are having quotes and quotes now, which can cause it to go a bit weird if we don't if we um do nothing. So type, let's put that in I don't know, about six. I'm just gonna copy that because we're basically ripping that off for a while now. Type 
MP. HP. And then that should be fine, I think. Let's have a go. So, Pain Toad. Water type. 9999. Minus 3. Okay, what doesn't it like in that then? Ah, my keys were all lowercase, I suspect. Yes, they were. Try that again. Here we go, that's going okay. Need a bit more than 6 for that dude there, though, so I might put that on 10 as well. A bit more than that for that one, maybe it's 12 for Pain Toad for the name. That should be okay. Yeah, that works nice. Very simple program there. There's not a massive amount going on with manipulation of the dictionary, but you can see how easy it is to extract a second level dictionary from a 2D dictionary with very, very little fuss.